let's get to it. Pretzi Quantal um, for your aquarium, for fish, for flukes, flatworms, uh, various other things. Uh, Pretzi Pro is very commonly found. Um, it is effective. Uh, it's easy to use, and uh, it's a little expensive. So this little bottle here, which is four ounces, was like 15 bucks at a local fish store. And this is 100% um, pure grade Pretzi Quantal. So this was 50 grams, and this cost me, I think it was around $50 off of Amazon. So the, I'm not going to do the math. You could figure that out if you wanted to, but the amount of doses that you get out of this is uh, superior to this. And you'll get uh, a better result um, with the, the pure grade powder. Now, the pros and cons, like I said, this one is easier to find. It's easier to use. It is effective. Um, if you have a severe problem, this is going to be the one that you want to go with. So I have both. Um, this one is easier to dose with a small tank, you know, 10, 20 gallons, something like that. This one, you're looking at dosing 40 gallons or more is, is the ideal dosage. Uh, it's, it's a quarter teaspoon for 40 gallons. So a quarter teaspoon is this much, right? It's not very, not very large um, compared to, say, one teaspoon that you use with this dose here. One teaspoon per 20 gallons. So if you're doing anything less than 40, you have to start to half this and then it just gets to be small and it's like, are you really dosing the correct amount? On the flip side of that, this is, if you overdose it a little bit, um, it's, it's really not gonna hurt anything. Um, the, the fish don't really uh, take it into their, their uh, nutrient system the way that um, they would food or, or like metronidazole or something like that. Uh, so it's not really effective on them in that way. Um, so you're not going to have to worry about overdosing. I mean, maybe if you dump the whole bag in, but I don't know, I've never done that. So um, the only difference with this one is getting it to effectively spread throughout the tank. It does not dissolve in water easily. Um, not really at all, actually. You could shake it up in super hot water. It will not dissolve. Um, so how do you get it into the aquarium? What they recommend on here is to use ethyl alcohol. There's posts about vodka, uh, a bunch of different stuff you can find. But what I have found to be the most effective is to take a pair of pantyhose and cut them up. And then I'm going to show you how to do this. So this one's wet because I just rinsed it out. But I'm going to be dosing a 75-gallon tank. And so it's a quarter teaspoon for 40 gallons. So I'm just going to do two quarter teaspoons or one half. I guess that would make more sense, right? But I've already got it in the quarter teaspoon thing. So we're going to do that. And we're just going to do right in the bottom of the bag or the bag right in the bottom of the uh, pantyhose. And like I said, this is a quick video. I'm just trying to get it up here on YouTube and out for the people to view. So I'm not doing any fancy editing or going back and changing my screw ups. Nothing like that. All right, get this one level here. And I wasted some of it, but that's okay. So we're gonna do two quarter teaspoons or a half teaspoon, which would have made a lot more sense. And I'm making a mess, but this is just for uh, educational purposes so now we've got it in there I like to take it and tie it off and let's go to the aquarium all right so here's the guys that we're going to be dosing um you can see that they're hungry they think they're getting fed but um at any rate uh this is a 75 gallon tank like i said so we're doing a quarter teaspoon twice or a half a teaspoon um and what you're going to do is you're going to take this give me in front of the camera here with the powder in it and I'm going to go to the other side because these guys are going to be all over me here. And you're just going to put your hand in here and start kneading it. Like so. And you'll see that it actually makes a nice, uh, well, not powder, but it dissolves through the tank nicely. And I've only done maybe, maybe half of it so far. But you can see it's starting to work its way. And you want to do it somewhat close to like your filter output or something like that uh, so that it really gets uh, spread, you know, spread through the tank. You can see it's starting to go through. It's not quite over to this side yet, but take it back. But if I start to dip it in here and sort of shake it up, knead it. 
starts to work its way through. And that is the fastest way to uh, dissolve Pratsu Clonal in your tank when you're using pure powder form. Thank you guys. See ya.